Hey, 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 ladies. How are you all doing today? I hope everybody is doing absolutely amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It is Sierra Exantis, author, singer, motivator, and woman of many extraordinary things. Also the founder of Woman of Worth 365, Sierra Exantis LLC, where I encourage women to just live a worthy lifestyle all day, every day, no matter what's going on in their lives. Just, you know, being happy, you know, being happy. It's not always easy, of course, to just, you know, be happy when things are going on in our lives. But, you know, if you really start to think about all the things that God has blessed you with, you really start to really see how you have so much to be happy about. So today on Worthy Woman Wednesday, our topic is thankfulness. Thankfulness, thankfulness. Oh, thankfulness. You know, God is so, 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 so good. So good. I mean, can we just like talk to God just for a second? <laughs> and his amazingness, because it's so easy for us to complain about things, like complain about um, our children sometimes, you know, if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Complain about um, our relationships. Complain about we need a new car, we need a new home, you know, complain about not having enough support, not having enough friends, not having enough money. Um, there's just so many things that we can complain about all day, and it's absolutely not going to do us any good to just stir up the complaint. But this week, hopefully, not just this week, but in life in general, I want to encourage you to really start to think on the things that are amazing and that are awesome and that you have, you know, so much gratefulness for. You know, they say gratitude is the opener of unlocked blessings. And I truly, truly believe that. So this week, you know, of course, it's Thanksgiving week and, you know, you're probably getting your house ready for guests and you're probably, you know, thinking about what you're going to be cooking and, you know, you know, who all is going to be bringing what and thinking about family. And that's amazing. And I think that is that I love the holiday season. But I want to encourage you, like I said, not only this week, to really just reflect about the many things that you have to be thankful for. Think about your health. You know, so many people this year got some crazy diagnosis of cancer, of AIDS, of all different forms of diseases. But you watching, you may still have your health. And even if you have gotten, you know, a bad diagnosis, I know there are things that you can be so grateful and thankful for because you're still here, you're surviving, you know, you may have been, have, have had a, through whatever diagnosis you've had, you may have found yourself amongst a new beautiful group of friends or support system or there's just so much that we can absolutely be thankful and grateful for. You know, if you have a sisterhood of women who absolutely love and adore you, that is a thing, that is something to be totally thankful for. If you have a relationship with your mom, your kids, your friends, you know, your family, and you have that support, if you have a supportive husband, if you have a thriving business, I mean, if you have a life that, you know, is really looking up, be thankful. Be thankful. I mean, just look around. You know, if you have any of your children living and breathing and thriving and healthy, that alone is enough to say thank you, God, because so many people lost their children this year. So many people lost their hope this year. So many people lost so many things. So I just want to encourage everybody as worthy women, you know, find the gratitude in life. Find that thing or those things that you can list and say, you know what, God, I am going to do exactly as you said. And whatever is good, whatever is pure, whatever is amazing, I'm going to think on these things. And I'm going to just be so grateful. 
All right, ladies, that is my time. I just want to encourage you to continue to love on yourself, love on your family, and embrace gratitude this week and always. Take care.